Chapter 78, Pain is like the growth of a tree. At one time, the Buddha lived in the Garden of Solitude in the Gion Grove of the Acropolis. One day, the Buddha said to his monks, disciples, when you cling to and worry about the things of the world, and indulge in the feelings of happiness, joy, and satisfaction brought about by obtaining, owning, and enjoying these things, you will let craving grow, and taking will be produced with craving as a prerequisite, have will be produced with taking as a prerequisite, and birth will be produced with have as a prerequisite, so that having birth will produce sorrow, sadness, distress, worry, despair, aging, and death. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world gather and appear, and people or beings in the world will continue to suffer and sink in the cycle of life and death according to the method of dependent origin. The disciples are like a big tree, its roots grow into the ground, it is firmly rooted in the earth, and it draws water and nutrients from the earth. In this way, the big tree can grow and exist for a long time. In the same way, disciples, when they cling to and worry about the things of the world, and indulge in the feelings of happiness, satisfaction, and joy brought by these things, just as a tree is rooted in the earth and draws water and nutrients from the earth, then craving will continue to grow, with craving as the precondition will produce taking, taking will be produced with taking as a precondition, being will be produced with have as a precondition, and birth will be produced. With have as a precondition, so that having birth will produce sorrow, sadness, distress, worry, despair, aging, death. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world gather and appear, and people or beings in the world will continue to suffer and sink in the cycle of life and death according to the method of dependent origin. Disciples, when they do not cling to and worry about everything in the world, and do not indulge in the feelings of happiness, joy, and satisfaction brought by these things, and understand that all the things in the world bring to themselves are ultimately painful feelings, then craving will gradually fade, disappear, and disappear. When love is destroyed, taking is destroyed. When the take is destroyed, the have is destroyed. When the have is destroyed, the birth is destroyed. When life is gone, sorrow, sorrow, bitterness, worry, despair, old age, and death are gone. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world are eliminated and destroyed. People or beings in the world can be freed from the troubles and sufferings of the cycle of life and death by following the retrograde movement of the method of dependent origin. Disciples, just like a man with a shovel for digging soil and a bamboo basket for soil, came to the side of a big tree, he dug up the soil hard, and cut off all the roots of the big tree, including the small root whiskers, he dug out the big tree one by one, and then he used an axe and a saw to divide the tree into countless small wooden pieces, and pressed these small wooden pieces into powder, put them under the sun to expose them, removed the water from the wood powder, and then the man put the dried wood powder into the fire and burned it, and the wood powder burned into ash. These ashes are either blown away by strong winds or thrown into the rushing rivers and rivers to be washed away. Disciples, like this, this big tree was dug up one after another, divided into countless small pieces of wood by axes and saws, and then pressed into wood powder, exposed to the sun to remove water, burned into ashes, and finally these ashes were blown away by the wind, thrown into the great river, washed away, so that the big tree does not exist, it disappears, and it is impossible to regenerate roots and germinate in the future, and in the future this big tree can no longer appear, it has been completely destroyed and disappeared. In the same way, disciples, when they are no longer worried about and clinging to all the things in the world, when they are no longer addicted to the feelings of happiness, joy, and satisfaction brought by these things, and understand that all the things in the world bring to themselves are ultimately painful feelings, then it is like a tree being dug up, divided into countless small pieces of wood by axes and saws, pressed into wood powder, exposed to the sun to remove water, burned to ashes, by fire, blown away by the wind, thrown into a great river and washed away. Craving will gradually fade, disappear, and disappear. When love is destroyed, take is destroyed. When the take is destroyed, the have is destroyed. When the have is destroyed, the birth is destroyed. When life is gone, sorrow, sorrow, bitterness, worry, despair, old age, and death are gone. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world are eliminated and destroyed. People or beings in the world can be freed from the troubles and sufferings of the cycle of life and death by following the retrograde movement of the method of dependent origin. After the Buddha's teachings, the monks who listened to the teachings all paid homage to the Buddha again, 
praising the immeasurable merits of the Buddha's teachings, and they all practiced according to the Buddha's teachings.